Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so what we're doing today is a 30 minute toned arms. <laughs> we're gonna work that upper body. So I have kind of a range of weights. I have my five, my five pounds, my 10 pounds, and my 15 pound dumbbells. So kind of a range of some light weights and some medium weights. Don't forget to sweat towel drink. And of course you're great at dude. And let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to grab your weights and your sweat towel drink, and of course your great attitude. So let's get warmed up. We're gonna throw our arms forward and back because we're giving ourselves a big hug and opening wide. I'm gonna have my thumbs up and then I'm gonna rotate my thumbs down as I cross over. That gives that rotation in those arms. I just have a little bit of a bounce because I'm so happy we're here today. <laughs> Keep it up, we got two more. Last one. Now you take that arm, you're gonna throw it forward, and then you're gonna rotate that thumb down and you're gonna pull back like you're moving water. Big open space, really working that shoulder mobility, that back. We've got two more. Last one, and then we're gonna take that arm and we're gonna go right over to the side. Get those laterals, okay. We're gonna have to use all of that mobility to really work that shoulder well. Last one, and now we're gonna do big circle. Woo! and then rotate it the other way, big circle. Oh yeah, now we got the other side. We're gonna move that water back and forth. Nice and controlled. Two more, last one, and then we're gonna take that and we're gonna do that lateral. Like I said before, if we don't have things moving correctly, something has to move too much to, to counterbalance something that's restricting. So we wanna make sure it's all moving well. Okay, big circles, here we go. And then the other direction. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna take that arm, you're gonna go right back behind you and then straighten it. Two more. Last one. And then the other side, down and up. Last one. This time you're gonna take that arm and you're gonna throw something right behind your head. It's gonna get that upper body a little bit more extension. Oh yeah, two more. Last one. We're gonna go to the end of our mat and we're gonna do a nice good walk out, put some weight bear into those arms. We're gonna drop into quadruped. We're gonna keep those elbows straight. We're gonna sink those shoulder blades in and push them out. Okay, getting that mobility in that shoulder blades. That's two thirds of your shoulder movement come from the actual movement of that shoulder blade on that, um, that scapula on those ribs. So we wanna make sure they're moving. Last one. Now, you can either go keep in quadruped or you can challenge yourself, go into plank and we're gonna do some taps right here. Just getting some weight bearing into those arms. Again, you can have one knee down, both knees down, just getting some weight bearing. And then right here, we're gonna push in a downward dog and then we're gonna push back into plank. We're gonna push one more time down in the downward dog. And then we're gonna go right back to a couple more of those taps. Oh baby. Two more, last one, and now you're gonna walk that slowly on up. Oh yeah, walk that baby up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pull those arms, those wrists back, make sure we get those nicely stretched out, and then we're gonna pull that down. Oh yeah, and we're gonna take that other side, we're gonna pull that back, and then we're gonna pull that down. One more each side, pull that back, and pull that down. And then the last one, pull that baby back and then pull that down. Oh yeah, it does not feel good. Okay, roll those wrists, roll them the other way. Okay, so what we're doing today is we're gonna work for 30 seconds and we're gonna do three rounds of an activity. So the first activity that we're gonna do is we're gonna do a standing fly. So we're gonna keep our palms facing, our, um, facing the ceiling. We're gonna have our elbow not locked out straight, slightly, like mostly straight. So there's a slight bend in that, that just protects that joint. Okay, then we're gonna take that and we're gonna lift it and we're gonna kind of come up to shoulder level, but to the opposite shoulder. So we're gonna come up and right and cross that. So that, that way we're working that chest muscle. So it's a nice good chest fly, keeping that palm up. So we're gonna do the right side first, then we're gonna do the left side. And then on the third round, we're gonna alternate. So I'm gonna use my 10 pound ones. They're long lever arms, so they take, it's very challenging, so that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna keep those palms facing up. We're gonna roll those shoulders back and are ready to get in position. Okay, here we go. Three, 
two, one. Lift and cross and back down that right side first. That's all we're doing, up and crossing over. So you're gonna come up that shoulder level. You're gonna cross it over to that left side and back down. Nice and controlled and back down. You're doing great. Really picture squeezing that chest. Again, don't have your elbow locked out. It's mostly straight. Almost there, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh goodness, okay. That feels better, Woo. <laughs> Okay, now we've got the other side, right? So shake that out, roll it back. Here we go, three, two, one. Up and cross and back down. Nice, good cross, come back down. You got this. Finish strong, you got this. Oh yeah. And then like I said, on the last one, we're gonna alternate sides. 10 more seconds, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shake that out. Okay, here's our last one. We're alternating sides. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, up and cross, and back down. Up and cross, and back down. Really squeeze that chest. Now we're also working those biceps a little bit because we're in that supinated position. That means that our palms are facing up. Oh yeah, keep that core nice and engaged. 10 more seconds, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, shake those arms out. Doesn't that feel good? Okay, so for the next activity, we're going to do bicep curls. I know, we worked them just a little bit in that standing fly. So this time, we're gonna have our palms facing up again. We're gonna have those elbows nice and steady, right against our torso, and we're gonna bring that elbow up and back down. Now, my knees are slightly bent. My core is engaged, my abs are engaged, my glutes are engaged, my weight is over those heels, so I have a nice, solid foundation, and then all I'm doing is right here. Notice I'm not doing any momentum. If you're starting to do that momentum, you need to drop that weight because all we want to work is those guns. So let's get in position. Let's roll those shoulders back. And let's rock this. Three, two, one. Coming up and then coming back down. Now notice I'm also not going very fast. Slow it down. Okay, control it. Come up and back down. And as you fatigue, drop your weight. That's okay if you start to say, now I've got momentum, I gotta drop that weight. That's totally fine. Bring it up and back down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up and then we're gonna go three, two, one, and down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come up, down, two, three, and up, down, two, three, and up, down, two, Three, okay, that down, we're controlling against gravity where there's a lot of muscle strength. Coming up, down, two, three. And we burn that baby out, don't we? Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this time we're gonna come up and we're just gonna pulse right here. We're gonna burn that out. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, so we're halfway up and we're just gonna pulse right here. Ooh, <laughs> tone those arms, burn those guns out. You may have to drop the weight, that's okay. I already dropped my weight from that first round. I don't feel bad, I just wanna keep good form, right? Okay, I'm gonna empty out the ammo in these guns. <laughs> 10 more seconds, woo! You got this, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness, Ooh, shake that out. Okay, so the next activity, we're gonna go down into that tall kneel position. Now, if you can't um, stay on your knees, you can sit, that's also too. You can do this right, tall sitting. We're gonna go down and up overhead. In fact, I'm gonna stay, let's do tall sitting. That sounds like a good plan. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down, we're gonna that way overhead. It's gonna go right behind our head by bending our elbows. Then we're gonna push it up overhead all the way up. So pretend like you're gonna hide it 
and show it. Okay, so that's what we got. You ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. We're going down and up. Hide that weight and show that weight. Nice work. Come on, down and up. Nice and controlled. Oh yeah. Now, we did the biceps. That was the front of those arms. This is working the triceps. It's a nice, good back arm. Oh, burn that out. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so this time we're gonna go down, two, three, and then up and one. Again, drop your weight if you need to. Here we go. Three, two, one. So here we go. Down, two, three, and up. Down, two, three, and up. Now it's a challenging to be in this position. You may have to have your knees straight, you may not have the mobility, but sitting really doesn't allow you to use any momentum. A little bit more challenging. Come on, down, two, three, and up. Almost there. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo. Okay, we're gonna go down, we're gonna pulse twice, and then we're gonna come on up. Last round, here we go. Three, two, one. So come down, two pulses, and up. Down, two pulses, and up. <sighs> Exhale as you come up. <sighs> 15 more seconds. <sighs> You're doing awesome, come on, hang in there. We got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. The next activity, what we're gonna do is we're going to do a nice, good bent over row. So we're gonna come on up. Okay, so we're gonna hinge down and we're gonna pull those shoulder blades back. Now, if that starts to bother you, you come down and you can do one side at a time on that half kneel. Okay, and I wanna make sure that if you are standing, that you really hinge back and you get those glutes really activated over those heels. That protects that back. Then you're gonna pull those shoulders back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Here we go. Three, two, one, down. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. Squeeze them. <sighs> nice work. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Oh yeah. <sighs> nice and controlled. You got this. Squeeze, picture squeezing it. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna squeeze it and then drive it down with, in a three second countdown down, okay? I hope that made sense. Here we go, three, two, one. Let's go squeeze, down, two, three, and squeeze, down, two, three, and squeeze, down, two, three. Okay, really working that back. Squeeze it and let it drop. Nice work. You got this, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one, we're gonna do a little pulse twice up on the top and then bring it down. Roll those shoulders back, hinge down in three, two, one. Squeeze, and then down. Squeeze with a little pulse, and down. Now, if you weren't able to stand and you were doing one side at a time, just stick with that side. You don't have to do this different pattern. It just kind of works if you're doing both sides at the same time. Don't stress, you're still working that body. 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna go and do some body work. Some no weights, body weight. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Drop that weight. Okay, we're gonna go into a push up. We're gonna work that chest again. Okay, so you can be on your toes or on your knees, even if you need to. You can go to the wall. The same idea, you're moving that torso, that thighs, that chest, all at the same time. So they're coming down and up. Toes, knees, or you're doing the same thing on a wall, okay? Same idea. Go where you need to. Let's rock this, are you ready? Three, two, one, we're going down and up. Okay, just using that body weight. 
but all those modifications are ways that we lessen that body weight. We know how to drop the weight with our weight, right? You know, we can go from 15 to 10, but we don't always know how to drop our body weight when we're changing that. So that's what we wanna do. Make sure you keep that neck nice and neutral. Don't let that forehead jut forward. It likes to win the race. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we've got two more rounds like that. And you may have to modify as we move, as you fatigue. That's perfectly normal. I'm gonna have to do the same. Three, two, one. Down and up. Nice and controlled. Come on, you got this. Exhale as you come up. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more of those. Oh, that feels so good, right? <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. We're going down and up. Nice and controlled. Finishing strong. Last round, thank goodness. Down and up, push. Exhale as you come up. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, okay, we're gonna work those triceps next. We're gonna go down, we're gonna stick with body weight for a little bit. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna be in a tall bridge, tabletop position. Now, I'm not gonna bridge, I'm gonna keep my butt up there. I'm gonna bend through my elbows. Now, as we lessen the weight, you, you, you put that, um, that, those feet closer together, or you even get your bottom down there. You can keep your bottom down there and just do your upper body, wherever you need. Now, the farther they're out, the harder it is. Okay, let's try this. Three, two, one, down and up. Again, you may start in one position. As you fatigue, okay, you change. Okay, so try to keep that nice and upright. Down and up. 15 more seconds. Okay, it's really easy to do a glute bridge. That's not what I'm doing. I'm bending through those elbows and straightening through those elbows. Come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest, two more rounds of that. Are you ready? Three, two, one. One, down and up. Whew. One more body weight after, exercise after this, okay? Stay strong and steady, stay focused. Sometimes I promise you the body weights are harder than the weights themselves. <laughs> it's always like, oh, no weights, that sounds easy. No, it's not. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We've got one more round. Shake those arms out, we're almost there. Whew. Okay, again, keep modifying. Maybe you're now on your bottom and you're just doing those arms. Still working it. Three, two, one. We, no matter what level, we're working hard and we're pushing our body. Making the back of those arms look so good. We're gonna do some Superman stuff. Next, we're gonna be on our stomach. I do some lifts that way. Get that back working. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay, we're going down on our stomach. Okay, so this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up and you're gonna drive those elbows right into your shoulder blades. So you're gonna pull down and then back up. Drive that down and pull. Okay, we're gonna do some modifications as we go. That's where we're gonna be starting. So you wanna try to lift that up, really squeeze that upper back as you lift, and then you're gonna drive those elbows and squeeze those shoulder blades. Sounds fun, right? Here we go. Three, two, one, lift and squeeze. Pull down, actually feel like you're pulling something down, driving that right into that back. This is challenging because many times we do not work in extension. We work so much in flexion, 
we're in flexion when we're sitting and driving and working on the computer. We need that extension, that nice upright posture. Come on, you got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this time we're gonna just squeeze that left side, pull it down and get me all the way into that crunch. Okay, here we go. I know we're starting with the left side. We are three, two, one, drive it down and squeeze. Pull it down and squeeze. Drive it all the way into that body and crunch. Oh yeah. I'm still working that upper body on that right side because I've got my arm hanging. You might have to have it down if you can't try to make it hang. Burn that baby out. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one. Well, you're right. We gotta do now the right side. Usually I start on the right, but since I was facing you that way, I started on the left just to mix it up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift and drive it and squeeze it. Pull down. Like I'm actually taking my hand and I'm mimicking like I'm pulling the cord down, driving it into that side. You're doing great. Come on, pull and down. Here we go, 10 more seconds. We're gonna go up and do some hammer curls, but we're gonna be in that tall kneel position. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. Ooh. Oh, yes. Okay, so this time, we're gonna come up into that tall kneel position. We're gonna have our hands facing our body, and we're gonna do hammer curls. So our thumbs are facing the ceiling. We're gonna drive those up and down, grabbing those nice, good, strong biceps. Whew. If you can't be in a tall kneel, you can go into standing or you can sit in the chair. Okay, the tall kneel makes it so we're not doing any momentum. It's a little bit more challenging. Okay, let's roll those shoulders back and here we go. Three, two, one, up and down. Nice and controlled. Okay, I've got my core engaged. Like I said, much harder to do momentum. Coming up and down, palms are facing your body. Okay, we did it where it was supinated, where it was up. This time it's a little bit different positioning. We work the fibers just a little bit differently that way. 10 more seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so this time we're coming up and then we're slowing that down. Yeah, notice the pattern. Sometimes I do that, right? Here we go. Roll those shoulders back, get in that good position in three, two, one. Come up, down, two, three, and up, down, two, three. Nice and controlled. Coming up, down, two, three. Oh yeah, burn that out. 10 more seconds. We've got three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last one. I'm gonna drop my weights because I'm starting to get, I don't wanna lose that form. We're gonna come up and we're gonna pulse right here and then we're gonna come back down. So three pulses in the middle. Three, two, one. One, two, three, and down. Up, pulse, two, three, come down. Pulse, two, three, and down. Woo, yeah. Nice work. Come on, you got this. Woo, hang in there. Keep that core engaged. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Drop that weight. Okay, so the next activity, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay on our left side. So we're gonna work our right shoulder. We're gonna do a nice, good sideline fly. So we're gonna come out wide and we're gonna go all the way to the top and back down. So we're gonna come from the bottom I'm gonna squeeze that shoulder blade and come all the way up. We're gonna work that shoulder a lot. We're gonna work that back. Now you can be in a sideline with all your hip down. You can decide to have a little bit high or you can even try a side plank. Just working that core and engaging it. We're gonna start with that right side. Here we go. Three, two, one, lift and down. Now again, my arm is mostly straight. I've got that elbow protected by a little bit of a bent elbow. And guess what? We're doing all three rounds on this side. Yeah, this is all we've got today. Less, we're gonna do three rounds of this and then three rounds of the other side. 
down and up. Slowing it down and controlling it. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this time we're gonna come down up and we're gonna slow it down. I'm gonna count it down three, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one. Come up, down, two, three. And fly it up and down, two, three. Up, down, two, three. Oh yeah. I couldn't make that side line position very long on my knee now. It's okay if you're all the way down. This is challenging on that shoulder. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna slow it down a little bit more. We're gonna go three up and three down. And then we'll do the other side. How's that sound? Here we go. Three, two, one, up, two, three, and down, two, three, and up, two, three. Now the other side's gonna be sore and tired because it's helping you stabilize on this side. I'm just giving you a heads up. Up, and then down, two, three. Nice work, come on, 10 more seconds. And then we'll do the other side. We'll finish there, how's that sound? We got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, that shoulder is like done. Okay, last round, same thing, except we're going the other side. And the shoulder's gonna be a little sore because it was just stabilizing for you, okay? So, you ready to get in position? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Lift up and down. Nice and controlled, lifting up. Squeezing that shoulder blade, controlling it back down again. That elbow slightly bent. Nice and controlled. You're doing awesome. Come on, you got this. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this time we're going up and then we're slowing that down. Here we go. Three, two, one, up. Down, two, three, and squeeze, and down, two, three, and up, and then down, two, three, almost there. Come on, lift, and down, two, three. Oh yeah, come on, keep it up. You're almost there. Ooh, yes, we've got five, four, three, two, one and rest. Okay, this is our last one. We're doing three up and three down and then we're almost done. Here we go. Three, two, one. Up, two, three, and down, two, three, and up, two, three. And my arm is shaking. <laughs> Come on, you got this. Oh, yes. Almost there. Woo. Feeling so good. Nice, good bird. Come on, 10 more seconds. You're almost there. We got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's pull that arm over and stretch that shoulder out. Oh my goodness, that feels so good, right? Oh yeah. We're gonna take that arm and we're gonna go right up overhead and stretch out that um, tricep. So you're gonna really bend that elbow, really squeeze that elbow into that bend and then push it back behind that head. Keep breathing. Get that oxygen in that body. We're gonna take that thumb and we're gonna rotate it all the way down, pulling it back behind us and rotating. That's gonna get that bicep muscle in there. We burn that out with those bicep curls and those hammer curls. Now the other side, we're gonna pull that up shoulder Cross, drop that shoulder so it really gets that nice good deltoid. And then we're gonna take that right up overhead, push that elbow together and then pull it behind your head. Nice good breathing. Did great work today. You're gonna take that arm and you're gonna throw that thumb behind you and all the way back. Really pushing that nice good stretch. Now you're gonna take those hands and you're gonna pull them right behind you and lift. Now, if you don't have that range of motion, that's okay. Grab your towel and hold onto each side of the towel. That'll allow you that extra range of motion. And take those hands 
and pushing your body into that nice, good C position. Pushing that C, really push those shoulder blades out. Push them, push them, push them. And then lift on up, okay? We're gonna pull to the left side, pull through. Oh yeah, you're gonna feel that all the way down in those laterals. And then you're gonna push the pull to the right. Okay, really pull through those hands. You got this, come on. And then we're gonna do a nice good big circle right here. And back up. And we're gonna do a nice good big circle right back up and around. Pulling through, and then give yourself a high five for rocking that, and have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you wanna keep that momentum going, I have a free gift for you. It's my 10 minute slim and fit core routine. This video will help you look better, feel better, and move better. All you need to do is click the first link in the description below. Then enter your name and email and I'll instantly send you one of my favorite core routines. Did you like this video? Then let me know by clicking the like button below. Leave a comment with your favorite part or even ideas for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. All you need to do is click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my future workouts. So let's go get started on that 10 minute slim and fit core routine. I'll see you there and have a great day.